Okay, hello. This is going to be a guide to automatically reducing double base customs for Rockman 3. You are going to need two things for this. The latest version of the Onyx tools and the C3Con tools. I will have links to both of those in the description. So, I already created web previews for these two songs that I'm going to use to demonstrate because they kind of illustrate the two different cases that you're going to experience. So, yeah. Uh, should I fire a warning? This web player does not currently have any volume control, so it's probably going to be pretty loud. Turning down your volume is recommended. There you go, that's the start of Painters of the Tempest. And now we've got Shrine of the Obscene here. Uh, you've got basically two different cases here, which I will talk about right now. So for this, I need to open up the C3 consoles here. And for this, I'm going to need to open the quick DTA editor. So basically, in order for the Onyx program to recognize that it's a double bass song that needs to be reduced, there is a double bass setting in the data of the con file that needs to be enabled. Uh, could you like stay open please? So Shrine of the Obscene, which was charted by Lillian, over here you can see it does not have it. This needs to be 1. 2x space equals 1 near the bottom. Uh, let's see, yeah, I didn't change anything, so I could just delete either one. Now, Painters of the Tempest here, it was charted by Zane, and Zane and Soundhaven charts in my experience generally have this enabled, and so that saves you a little bit of work. I'm actually going to go back to Shrine of the Obscene here and change that to a 1. I have Notepad++, so C3Con Tools is automatically detecting that, but if you have just standard Notepad or anything else, it'll still work. Okay, which of these is the backup? Okay, so we've got our songs now, so we will use the Onyx tools, and I think I clicked on the wrong thing. There we go. So we will add these two songs, and you just need to click 1x space and create con file, and your songs will appear shortly. This might take a little while for Painters of the Tempest because it's 16 minutes. Maybe that wasn't the best choice for this video, but we'll work with it. Let's 
so it's doing its thing. I don't really have anything to say at the moment, but it's almost done with the first song. And you can see the first song just got created. And yeah, second one is moving much quicker, probably because it's not 16 minutes. Okay, so now we will clear, add these new ones, and just to be clear, yep, 1x. And we will now build web previews just to verify that these are actually one, proper 1x charts. This will probably take a minute, and unfortunately I'm not that great at providing commentary in the meantime, but you can still watch it do its thing. Excellent. So, I don't think we need this open anymore. As far as the web player goes, I don't think I explicitly said this before, just have to click on the index file and it'll open up the web player. And I don't know, let's put it somewhere a bit later. <laughs> And just in case it's not obvious from the audio, we shall compare it to the original. So, you know, I think we're about here. Now do the same for painters. Which of these is okay? So there you have it. That was a pretty quick and easy guide to making reduced level base customs for Rock Band 3. Just to give a, a quick recap now, in case you don't want to watch like five minutes of me kind of making like a hastily put together thing that I didn't really plan too well. Uh, you basically got two cases. Either it has the 2x base setting and the data file enabled or it doesn't. If it doesn't, then you have to enable that setting in the data file, 
which can take a second. Now, this will sometimes be enabled. It really depends on the charter. Some charters will pretty much always enable it. Other charters don't. Once you know that that setting is enabled, you just throw it through the Onyx tools and you tell it to create a 1x file. Or you could even tell it to create both. And that will also work. So yeah, automatic reduction is something that I've really been wanting to use for a long time. And I'm extremely happy that it's finally a thing. Because I'm going to be using this a lot and probably uploading a lot of videos of reduced double base charts. So yeah, I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.